Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to bring you another wig from Natural Image. Now, in the last review video, we did tailored wig from Natural Image and I talked a little bit about the elusive wig and how much I love it. So I thought I'd bring in this one next. So I have reviewed elusive many times. I've got elusive in many colours. I've got it in a really nice, rich chocolate brown. I've got it in a red, I've got it in a platinum blonde and now I've got it in this gorgeous wheat mist colour and this is just a really nice blonde and I wanted that as well for this time of the year, you know, just something nice, curly, short that I can throw on when I want to and feel really feminine and pretty and that's what I feel elusive does. So let's bring her out then. So she comes in a box like this and I've wrote on what the wig is. So this is elusive from Natural Image Wigs in Wheat Mist. So the colour, if you like it, is Wheat Mist. Now, the colour, first of all, it's not a rooted blonde. And sometimes I do prefer rooted blondes. But I thought it would be nice to just show you, you know, a blonde without a root. In case some of you want one without a root. You might think, oh, I'd love to see you, Liz, in a colour without a root. And you can also check out Josephine Wig which is also from Natural Image, it's a longer curly style and I've reviewed that one in a couple of colours with no roots as well. So personally I do prefer a rooted blonde but I do like this colour. So I am a fan of this wheat mist. So well, look at this. I mean I love Elusive anyway because she's curly, she's really natural looking even though there's no lace front and I do feel you're really going to like this look. So let's look at the cap construction first of all. Now I've sewn two wig clips into Elusive just at the front there and the thing I love about these natural image fronts is they feel very nice, you know, they feel very smooth and velvety and very comfortable to wear. So even though it isn't a lace front, it doesn't need to be, it looks natural on anyway. And before I lift it up to my hairline, I will show you just how natural it looks. You've got the breathable wefting on top so it gives you the height you want and the volume but it's also breathable so it's great to wear in this kind of weather and you've got all these breathable kind of weftings at the back as well it's got velcro adapters to make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own head and you've got your natural image label the ear tabs are also very comfortable so it's a very comfortable wig to wear and this is an average cap and it fits really nice on me so you can see the definition of the curl it's really pretty, really is. And, you know, it does come over to one side, but you can mess around with Elusive and kind of you can part her wherever you want. But I like her the way she comes. I feel she's very natural this way. So let's put her on without further ado. So I'm going to grab the wig at the back where the label is and put my thumbs there. And I'm going to put my head into the wig as if I'm putting my head into a bucket. And then I'm just pushing my little ponytail around at the back just to get it secure. I'm going to get the two ear tabs and make them straight and aligned. And then I'm going to push it up. Now, look at this first of all. You know, it's not a lace front, but it really doesn't need to be. So I'm going to lift it up to my hairline. Make sure I've got it on right with it not being rooted. And I'm going to clip her in. Remember, I've sewn those wig clips in. So you can sew wig clips in, it's very easy to do. I've done videos on that in the playlist or you can wear this with a wig grip band or a wig cap, whatever suits you. Now, I just love Elusive. I love everything about it. I really do. And that's why I've got it in so many colours. So I love it in the platinum mist colour. I've reviewed it in already. It's a gorgeous like platinum pearl blonde colour. Stunning. But I like this too because... A blonde like this is really nice for the summertime. You know, it's really nice because it stands out when it's sunny. And it's always nice to wear a blonde, especially if you've been dark all your life. You know, I've never had blonde hair. My sister has. My sister was, was you know, she's naturally dark, but she went blonde for about 10 years. And, you know, she's divorced now. But when she got married, you know, she got married as a blonde. So my sister's husband, you know, her ex-husband used to say, I met a brunette, I married a blonde and divorced a brunette. So, you know, you, you can change your look and it's so nice to have a blonde on your head when you haven't been blonde before. And, you know, if you're thinking, oh, I'd love to go blonde, but I don't want to put chemicals on my hair, a wig is such a great choice. 
And look how pretty it is. And you know, the thing I like about this weakness colour, even though it's not rooted, I do feel it suits me. So I really do feel I can pull off this colour in this wig. So I like it a lot. So before I mess around and style it, I'm just going to show you the curl definition and the colour. Look at this, very, very pretty. And you know, for a lot of you who like Movie Star by Ellen Villa, maybe this is another option. You know, because this isn't very expensive, this wig. Then this one's 116 UK pounds, so it's not expensive at all. This has been at a sale price as well, at like 96 pounds. So it really does depend when you get it. You know, and I bought this from Natural Image Wigs online, and the service is very quick. You know, very good for bringing the wigs out. And I've got this, as I said, a rich chestnut glow. Um, no, ri yeah, rich chestnut glow, which is the red, which is one of my favourites. The platinum mist, which I love. I've got it in um, a gorgeous caramel glow. And I've got it in um, dark chocolate, no, co chocolate copper mist or something like that. But if you go to the playlist, you'll find it anyway. So let's do a little twirl with it like this. So you can see from the side and the back. Again, it looks very natural. You know, I love how it defines and goes into the nape of the neck and from this side. So, you know, you don't have to have it like this. I would definitely not wear it like this because it would get on my nerves. I would just spend a little bit of time coaxing it into place. Okay, so a lot of the natural image wigs, you know, come with styles that can easily be altered to suit you. So in other words, you could cut a bang into this if you wanted to. You know, I think this one would actually be quite nice with a little bang in. Something different. I might do that because I haven't done that before. I could easily cut a little bang into this and have it as a little short curly style with a bang, maybe. And, you know, for me as well, with it being a non-rooted blonde, that might be a good thing to do. You know, all I would do, if I was cutting a bang in this wig... I would get it about there because it feels nice there. It feels like it's sitting right. And this side feels like it's sitting right. So I would just pull it down and I would get my scissors and I would cut it across about there. And that would give me a bang. And then I would just kind of cut it to make it suit me better. But you don't have to do that. You could easily put a little clip in there. It's very Marilyn Monroe vibe. Or, you know, I could easily part this elsewhere let's have a look and see what it looks like so you know because you haven't got to have it parted where it comes you know the hair is very versatile so it will do what you want it to do but it does kind of want to part there right now so again it's coaxing it into place with your fingers and not being afraid to try and have a go at styling this wig and you know like this it does look very similar to the saffron red rooted movie star wig by Ellen Villa that I reviewed not long ago. Interesting. So again, just using my natural body heat of my fingers to coax it into a style. Pretty, pretty. But I think I might put a bang in this. I'm not sure yet. You know, it's too soon for me to say, right, I'm going to get my scissors and, and have a play. Because, you know, it's easily rectified. Just put a little bit of hair behind your ear and then it sets it into style. But I really like this one. You know, I really like this one. I have found that a couple of the other ones are sitting better on me because, you know, they just kind of naturally come where they, where they part and they go nice. They don't hang on my face or anything. So this one just needs a little bit more time and attention. A little bit more time and attention. Look at that. That looks really pretty parted there. Love it. I actually quite like it like this. But again, you know, it just take a little bit of TLC to just coax it into style. This side feels very nice. That's not hanging in my face at all. This side with a little clip there. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Or, as I said, just popping it behind your ear just to hold it into place. But let me bring, see that little kiss girl there that's trying to come out there. So I'll just take it out of my ears and just push it in. I put a little clip in there. Let me grab a clip, bear with me a second, because it is nice sometimes to see with a clip in. 
so you can see what you can do with this and obviously you know you can get some beautiful clips really pretty clips to you know keep it there look at that that looks really really nice love it love it elusive in wheat mist from natural image wigs look how pretty it is and you can imagine you know being out and about in the summer in the hot weather with the sun blazing down it's a really really pretty style you know and no one would know it was a wig obviously if they came really close to you and started you know dissecting the the parting but you know nobody gets that close think about it we don't go around looking at people's hair thinking is or is that or isn't that a wig i mean it's different when you wear wigs because you might be curious or you might be looking at people's hair thinking oh that's really nice is that a wig but you know day-to-day -day, everyday people they're busy you know they're busy in their own mind with their own thoughts thinking about the man or the woman they're seeing or thinking about work or thinking about the next thing they have to do you know they've got more important things to think about than what you're wearing on your head they might look at you and think wow that style's gorgeous on you or i love your color but they're not thinking oh you've got a wig on you know wigs are so clever right now as well you know they're so aren't they they're very very clever you know nobody knows you're wearing a wig and a lot of people do wear wigs now because it's just so easy you know you haven't got to worry about doing your hair or you know someone i know was like wow i'm going to start wearing wigs because i'm tired of paying money all the time to go and have my hair done or have it colored or retouched up or to have the cut maintained just whack your hair back and pop your wig on and you're good to go and you can be whoever you want to be if you want to be blonde one day if you want to be red one day if you want to be a brunette if you want to wear a gray wig a colored wig pastel wig you can live your life your way and that's the power of wearing wigs so i really do like this one so I think for me, I don't think I'm going to cut a bang in. Why? Because I really like how this side is falling. So I really like that. You know, I haven't got to do anything with this side. It's just this side. So all I need to do is just coax it into style to just make this side stay out of the way a little bit. And obviously I can't really put it like that because, you know, with my natural hair, it's obvious it's a wig then. So I would want it around the face. You know, but I would perhaps put a little clip in when I go out in this just to hold it there. And I think that's a very, very pretty look. Very nice look there as well. So I love it. Really, really pretty. So Elusive and Wheat Mist from Natural Image Wigs. And if you want to see this wig in all the different colours, please do check out the playlist because I've done full videos on each colour. You know, if you want a really nice, rich, dark kind of you know, vibrant brown, check out the chocolate copper mist. If you want a really nice rich red, check out the um, the glow, the rich chestnut glow. If you want a really nice platinum blonde, check that one out, or you can see the caramel glow as well. But this colour is wheat mist, a really pretty blonde, non-rooted, but I don't think it needs to be. And it's just something really nice. It reminds me a little bit of Madonna in her era when she was doing... Um, you know, Dick Tracy, and she was doing those kind of films, and she was doing, um, you know, Now I'm Following You, that that song, da -da -da, you know, and she was doing that, and she was singing, um, I'm trying to think what the song is, you know, Hanky Panky, Hanky Panky, you know, she was singing all of that, you know, Blonde Ambition, thank you, Blonde Ambition tour, when she was doing that, reminds me a bit of that, also a bit Christina Aguilera, so, you know, really, really pretty wig. And the thing is, you know, so many celebrities wear wigs to change the look and style. So if celebrities can do it, why can't we? That's the way I see it. So I really do like this. I love Elusive anyway. But, you know, look how pretty the, the style is. Let me give you another turn. Just now I've changed it around a little bit. Look at this. You can't tell it's a wig. You really can't. Look how pretty she is, especially at the back. You know, think about it's sunny weather, the sun's out, the sun's hitting you, and you've got this gorgeous colour on in this style. Amazing. So, Lucy from Natural Image in Wheat Mist. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.